everybody, it's Catherine. Today I'm here with my favorite haul of all time, possibly. I super geeked out on my dorm room. I will be attending the University of Southern California in just about a week, and I will be living with one other roommate, um, and then in a suite with like six other girls on top of us too. But I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Let's start with the bedding since that's kind of the focal point of my room. I decided to go with PB Teen bedding. Um, I found there are a bunch of other options, but in the end I'm used to PB Teen bedding. That's what I have right now. And I knew that it would just be cute and preppy. So I got this chevron. It is a duvet cover. It is just a twin because twin duvet covers and comforters will fit twin extra long beds. Along with that I got a sheet set because they come separately and the duvet was unfortunately like $54 on sale and this was like $47 or something on sale. But it comes with a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and then one pillowcase. This one is an extra long but as you can see it is just a pattern of tiny dots and the colors coordinate perfectly. PBT has a fantastic option on their website where you can design your own room and pick the duvet cover, the sheets, the pillows, everything, your blankets, any decorative stuff and you can kind of design your own room and visualize how it's going to look. And I also got a pillow from PBT. I also am looking for a kind of raspberry color pillow but I wanted this navy one. Um, I have a sort of floral theme to my room even though I didn't really try to. I don't even like flowers that much but I like the look of this. It is 16 by 16 and I think about $30. So if you didn't know, duvet covers do not come with anything inside of them usually. So I went to Ikea and I picked up this. It is a Misa straw and it's a twin. And when I went, they did not have like any twin selection. I wanted a uh, heating rating of three for mine. This is actually a five and I think it was around $39.99 I want to say. Um, but it's going to be a little warm but I do like a nice comfy comforter on top of myself and I always kick it off anyway so um, really happy about that. As far as a pillow to go inside of the pillowcase uh, with that sheet set, I bought one from Bed Bath Beyond. Bed Bath Beyond actually has a great service where if you go to your local store and shop around you can have the stuff to be picked up at your school. Since I'm driving down there, uh, my parents decided, you know, might as well. So from Bed Bath Beyond, I got a medium weight Laura Ashley pillow, which is for side sleepers and stomach sleepers. And then I also picked up an over the door mirror. It is $19.99. It's a full length mirror, which is really important because I always like to visualize my outfits. And then it comes with a towel hook on it and it just goes over the door really nicely and I'm hoping that'll work out per perfectly for my room. I got a body pillow which is about, you know, yay long and I still need a body pillow cover. I'm hoping to get in that raspberry color if I can, but if not, just any color that coordinates with the room. Also, while I'm on the tangent of things I don't actually have right now, I ordered a mattress pad. It is a 3 inch memory foam mattress pad for twin extra long. I purchased it for around, I want to say like $89 or $84 from Dormco, and that'll be shipped to me. One of the products I'm genuinely excited to show you guys is this lamp. I was contacted by Teotronics, um, and they sent me this amazing desk lamp. I was just going to use a normal lamp that I had at home, but they sent me this cool guy, and it comes in white and black, but it basically has four light settings, and you can adjust it as you please. It's reading, study, relax, and sleep and each have a different color lighting and a different intensity. That way you get the best lighting at, for the stuff you're trying to concentrate on. I think it's really important to have a like dim mode for when your roommate's trying to sleep. It also is really cool in that it is flexible. I am totally going to cover this in washi tape. It also has one swaggy USB port right down here and that is perfect for me charging my cell phone. It's LED so you know the lights are going to be good quality and energy efficient and it's very eco-friendly. These are actually on back to school sale right now and I'm always looking out for you guys. I asked if they could possibly do a giveaway for me and they agreed that they will send one of you this lamp in your choice of white or black. All you kiddos do is first subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and then second of all, it's only two part 
giveaway because I'm not too high maintenance. You just need to leave a comment with a video request from me and it could be something to do with back to school, something to do with college, something to do with fashion, anything you want me to make a video about that I haven't before or maybe a sequel to it. Please leave one comment down below and I'll be randomly selecting a winner to win this and then they will need to contact you. If you win, I will likely reply to your comment and we can work it out from there if you want to email me with your information or, or I'll inbox you. If they even have an inbox option on YouTube, I literally don't even know anymore. May the odds be ever in your favor to win this techie dream. As I mentioned before, I want to decorate my lamp with a ton of washi tape, which if you don't know what it is, it is a college dorm room dream. I went psycho on this and bought two handfuls of this stuff. You can get it from Office Max or Office Depot because apparently they're the same store now. Like, what the heck? Did you guys just give up on everything you're trying to do? It's really bizarre. But anyway, Office Max, Office Depot, Michaels, and Paper Source, if you have that store. It comes in a variety of lengths and widths and patterns, and basically it's just a tissue paper tape, so it's a little thin. And if you put it on a mason jar, as I have done, if you decorate a mason jar with it and put a light inside, like, the light will still come out. It's not super opaque, but it is really removable from your walls, so that's why it is usable for dorm rooms. So I will be hanging up all my photos with this stuff, and I will be decorating a ton of different stuff in my room with this so that I can add a little more color without damaging the walls, because as you know, you cannot put any push pins or anything in the wall because they will find you like a mother effer, and no one has money in college anyway, so you do not want to be further in debt than you already are. I also got a laundry hamper. I had a little bit of trouble picking out what I wanted in a laundry hamper and originally I wanted something that was really cute and would match my room. I ended up going with functionality. Here's what the hamper looks like. As you can see, it does have those two sections and also some sections to carry your laundry detergent in, which I feel like is extremely helpful. And it's also a pop-up one, so when you're traveling it will sit flat. It has a divider in the middle. You just throw the lights and darks in and start sorting them before you even get to the laundry room. And it does have handles for you to carry when you are going. My sister was kind enough to gift me with some graduation stuff and she picked me up some stuff she thought would be excellent for my dorm room. First of all, this uh, scarf rack, which it has been loaded up. She actually loaded it up for me. But as you can see, it has this hanger here to go in your closet. And you can't see right now, but it's filled with about three layers of loops that you just shove your scarves through. She also got me this earring organizer. I don't know where it's from, nor do I know where the scarf rack is from, but I really needed one of these. If you look in my previous videos from like a year ago, or when I had the, like the different background, I had this really dinky purple heart earring organizer, which is actually still there, so I need a little more mature one. Um, it has some long hooks here for your necklaces, and then all of these around here are just tiny little holes to put your earrings and such in. So, and she also put my Disneyland Honorary Citizen pin on the top, just to make it a little more Cather out. For my closet, I got what every other college-bound YouTuber got, which are these non-slip hangers. So I got three packs of this for a total of 105. So I'm hoping that'll be enough. I also have a dresser. So I'll be putting all of my bottoms um, in the dresser. So it's basically I'll be using 105 hangers for my tops, possibly. I haven't even counted what's in my closet right now. These are a must, really, if you want to have any sort of space in your closet. Anyone going to college should know about these, and they're just these command hanging strips. So I got a couple of the hook style ones. Hopefully that'll be for a bag or something. I can carry up to four pounds. Um, and then I got a bunch of smaller ones. I also picked up a bunch of just plain strips for hanging posters and such. Um, but likely when I get down there I'll be buying a ton more because I actually don't know how I'm going to hang all my DIY stuff yet. As soon as I do my dorm tour, again, you guys will see how I decide to mount everything because that's not really something people talk about, but something I actually don't know how to do, so. Picture-wise, besides the washi tape, I saw this um, online and decided that it would be perfect. It is a photo hanger, and essentially, if you can see the photo right here, 
the photos stick out of the wall at different lengths. There are three different lengths and nine of the photo holders in general. That's from the brand Umbra, and I know you can pick it up at Paper Source, but online the shipping wasn't too bad, so. Moving on, from the container store, I got two organizational things, and I wish I could buy the entire store. They actually had a college dorm registry, so I went around and just beeped a bunch of stuff with that little scanner that you usually use for weddings. I um, went around one day with my best friend, and we looked like a lesbian couple shopping for our first apartment because we were just so in love with all the stuff in that store and with each other, and we were just scanning everything. So I only ended up buying two things when my mom came back with me because I realized... There was some stuff that was just excessive, but I decided I really needed this. It is, honestly, I don't even know what the name for this is, but it was $16.99 and they were having their sale. I had this section of my desk on top of some drawers where I just shove a bunch of papers that I'm not ready to use yet. Any sort of packets or folders I get from events or, you know, classes or anything, I usually just like stack them up against the wall, which isn't exactly organized, so it'll be very helpful to at least have some organization in that and make sure everything stays standing up. So I like this and it will be going on my desk, obviously. I also got a shoe rack. You can buy as many of these stacks as you want. I just bought two, so I'll put shoes below the first level, on the first level, and on the second level. From Bed Bath & Beyond, I wanted a shower caddy because although my shower is not communal, we have two bathrooms for eight girls. They're inside of a suite, so it's like you still have to walk out of your room to get to the bathroom, but it's not like a giant truck. But you cannot store all of your shower stuff in the bathroom. There's not enough room, so... Um, this is a two-in-one caddy, and I like the color because it is that kind of same... Is this the same kind of scheme? You know what? It goes It goes well enough. So there is two-in-one. I really only need this, like, inner one, which is only that big. But it came together, so why not get both? And I like the plastic kind because I feel like if you get any sort of fabric or, like, rubber in the shower, it just is weird. So this was $8 from Bed Bath Beyond. For my Kia, I picked up some under the bed storage. I still am not quite sure if this is going to be enough or even necessary or what I'm going to put in these, but they are just four wheeled white boxes. And they're actually in the kids section of Ikea, but I like them because they're wheeled so they'll come out easily. And I'm thinking I'm just going to throw maybe towels, tech gear in there. I also bought these little guys, the middle one my mom gave to me because she thought it was an ugly succulent, so I get it for college, nice try. And this little one I bought from Grocery Outlet Bargain Market for like $1.50. Same with this one. And I will be decorating the bottom of these with washi tape. You best believe it. Okay, lastly, I did want to have another throw pillow and a rug in this haul. I was looking at Society6 and found two adorable pieces. I will insert them both. One is an up rug that I'm going to put right next to my bed so that when I get up out of bed every morning I step on that and it's adorable and cute and Disney and I love it and then the other one is a throw pillow that's also 16 by 16 and it has that just kind of teal aqua color to it and I love the pattern and I think it'll be really cute to have two throw pillows not just one. Who even has one throw pillow? I've never had a throw pillow in my entire life but I figured you gotta have them in multiples to make it even worth it. The shipping actually is like $20, so I don't know if I'm going to get them anymore. I can't justify spending $20 on shipping for basically anything. So if there's any way you guys can find any coupon codes, or if any of you here are an artist on Society6 and can hook me up with something, that would be greatly appreciated because I want my dorm room to be the maximum cuteness at the lowest cost, which is insane, but I thought I could do it. And I failed on this one little part, and those two things would make my room really, really happy. So if any of you can find coupon codes or free shipping, they don't offer free shipping on um, throw pillows or rugs. That's why I can't get free shipping, so I'm hoping that I can get, you know, a decent percent off my order somehow. I'd like to thank all of you lovely people for tuning in to this exciting time of my life. If you enjoyed this video and want to see how I organize all these things in my room and how it all comes together, please stay tuned because I will ha be having a move-in video, which is going to be just basically my parents and I think my sister and I putting together everything in the room so that you can see the final kind of product. Hope you enjoyed. See you in my next video and Cather out.